Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, I just wanted to do a review on a couple of products. Um, I was actually thinking about using them in my fall haul. So, um, but I just want to get to the point and um, show you a couple of things that I got that I really, really um, like. One of them is it's the burgundy bar from Maybelline and the colors are just gorgeous let me open this up for you and I'll show you um, I've been actually using it quite a bit I actually have it on now if you can see um, it's just it's gorgeous um, here's the colors and there is um, I mean, these are just beautiful fall colors. So, um, if you can get a chance to get out, it was under $8 at Walmart. And it is called the Burgundy Bar, like I said, and it is by Maybelline. So, um, the colors, all the colors can be used together. I mean, they just match up so nicely. And the pigment just is gorgeous. I <clears throat> was going to do some swatches for you, but I decided to put the makeup on on my eyes and show you so that you could see exactly how it works. Now, the the bot the color I have on my bottom lid is the lightest color in the palette. This one and what I did with it, it was a little trick I learned, um, is you take um, your brush and what I do is I take and rub it on um, a makeup remover um, towelette and it just dampens it just a little bit. I mean, it sounds kind of redundant to put makeup remover on your, your eyeshadow brush, but it just dampens it a little bit and then um, you dab it into your um, eyeshadow and the color just really sticks and it actually brightens it even more so I didn't I don't do that on my upper eye because um, I want that to kind of blend out more because when it is damp it doesn't blend out more so it's I basically just use it on my bottom lid but the burgundy bar it is absolutely a beautiful palette I love it um, still isn't my favorite um, lemon craze is still my favorite but this is number two so and then I do have um, I had a coupon for this and it is the Milani and the color is a more matte and I needed a matte color um, for when I overdraw my my lips I've got such thin lips so I do need to overdraw them and um, I've been watching some videos on um, how to properly overdraw your lips and every single video that I watch said that you do want a matte um, a matte color um, the shinier the color the more light reflects off of it and then you can see where your um, natural lip line is more and on a matte um, it doesn't necessarily um, there's no shining so it won't show your um, natural lip line so um, I have that on today too and I absolutely love this color it is just let me flip it here it is just beautiful it is like basic kind of like a nude um, but it, it just is beautiful and it really goes good with the fall look um, I'm not sure if you can tell but I did um, I did color my hair I went I took I had some red tones in it I took those out, put dark brown tones in, and then gave myself some um, light um, highlights. And I'm going, 
<clears throat> pretty much exactly opposite of what I normally do in the fall. Normally in the fall I go dark, like everything dark, and in um, the summer I go the lighter, you know, blondish. And this year I have just been backwards, but um, I just I just had the urge, you know, when you just need that change, and I just really needed that change. Um, I'm coming up on 50 years old, and um, I'm eventually going, I'm hoping within a year, I want to go gray and black. Um, it, it's just, it's just gorgeous. Um, the black undertones on the really dark gray, I, I want that so bad, and it is so hard on your hair to, because you have to first lighten your hair the parts that you're going to do the gray on, you have to lighten it and um, bring it to a blonde or even a platin, platinum, um, uh, otherwise the gray just won't show right. So, And taking all that color out of your hair really is damaging. Now what I did this time, and I wanted to share this with you guys, um, what I did this time, um, and I've never done it before, and I do always have breakage and damage when I lighten my hair so I took coconut oil and before I colored it about a couple hours before I um, lightened my hair I took co coconut oil and just slathered it all over my hair and I let that um, sit for about two hours now it you can do it overnight just put like you know a towel or a bag over your head so that you're not getting you know coconut oil all over your bed but it it does um work quite a bit better if you do do it overnight and then don't rinse out the coconut oil go ahead and color it as you normally would and i'm going to tell you i i do have a little bit of damage but nothing, absolutely nothing compared to what I normally would have. So um, in a couple of weeks, I'm going to go ahead and lighten um, my hair up some more. And I'm going to use the coconut oil um, treatment to do that. And I'm just taking this pretty gradual. I don't want to completely damage my hair. I've heard of people having just wads of hair fall out after lightning you know it us uh, I don't want that that is like my biggest fear um, to lose your hair my hair is already thinning and I believe that's due to age but um, yeah I want to keep my hair so um, anyway and I also got see if I can see this oh my eyes are getting I'm gonna be 50 my eyes are getting ridiculous I need to put my readers on it's um, Rimmel, and I can't find the color, but you can see this color, and it does match up really well with um, the um, Milani color. I got the more matte, and um, it's actually a liner, and I did put it on. It did kind of wipe off a little bit, so... Um, I'm going to work with it a little bit more and see if I can um, figure out a way to get it to stay a little bit longer. But um, I actually got this only for a dollar. So, I mean, I'm not going to complain about it. I mean, a dollar. And then I did have a coupon for this, and this was $2 off. So this was, oh, about $5. So, um... I mean, shoot, if you can find a coupon, use it. It helps. Every little bit helps. So, well, anyway, I'm just going to keep this short. I want to keep it under 10. So, um, like I said, if you can get out and get the Burgundy Bar by Maybelline. Oh, and they have some other palettes that are just gorgeous, too. Um, I wanted to get something for that was kind of folly because I am going to be doing a fall haul. And hopefully it will be soon. Um, I had a suggestion about candles and stuff, so I'm going to go out and look for some candles and just kind of set up an uh, ambiance of, you know, the fall feel, you know, baked apples, pumpkin, you know, all that. It's my, one of my favorite seasons besides spring, so, and then Halloween, of course, is coming up, but 
Um, anyway, I think that is it, and I appreciate you watching, and please subscribe to my channel. I would really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much for taking time to watch my videos. Love you guys. Mwah.